Welcome oh, back. Oh, hi, hi. <laughs> I am Welcome. picking a sandwich out my teeth. Yes, me too. Um, it is time for a new segment we're calling A Nice Message from Natalie Nunn. <laughs> I, I love that. that. Yes. Reverend, it's all up to you. <laughs> should have prepared something a little bit more. Okay, so I was live. Um, I did midday weather from the Ozark Empire Fair yesterday. How was it? Was it I good? It was, it was hot. It was hot. My yeah. kneecaps were sweating. <laughs> 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 then I went inside. But um, a gentleman named Shorty. Can I pull up Shorty's picture, please? Okay, Aww. this is Shorty. I met Shorty on an additional story that I was doing in Willard one time. So he's from the Willard area. Maybe Ashgrove. I can't remember Shorty. Him and his wife watch you guys every morning. His wife records it. Aww. And he said that, Jeremy, at one point you said you would like, you just need to learn something new. Mm -hmm. And so he is challenging you to learn oh. whittling and woodworking. He's like, oh. come out to the Ozark Empire Fair. And then he gave me a gift for you guys. Oh, oh how nice. That's so nice. Uh -huh. What is that? Oh, that is hot. <laughs> okay, let me hold this up. <laughs> Take a look at what he gave us. This is hilarious. It's an Ozarkian puzzle. That is so a wooden puzzle. puzzle. I love it's it. It's just sawdust. It's just sawdust. I love that. <laughs> For anybody in this area, you get this. You know yes. this. Yeah. Well, you know what Nally did to me? Nally did to me. I'm like, what in the heck? Wait. He was trying to solve it. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, what kind of puzzle is this? And I'm like, what the heck? Shorty, thank you so much. We love it. That is so yeah. cute. That's so sweet. That is hilarious. That's fun. That makes me so, so happy. Yeah, so Shorty and his wife. Big fans. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That Thank was very you kind for of watching, guys. Yeah. We appreciate it. And, uh, you know, I love the idea of learning something new. I have a whole list of things I'd like yeah. to learn. The problem is right now, time. Time, time. time is it's short. It's just time. The list yeah. is long. Absolutely. This is I would never puzzle, be bored. By the way. Oh, that's beginners. It's Only beginner. 500 pieces. <laughs> Only 500 pieces. Yep. Are you good with puzzles? I love them. Really? I, yeah. I, I don't know if I tell you this story. My brothers and I used to do puzzles all the time growing up. But my brother Josh and I would always hide the last piece so we could put the last I piece in. I remember you saying Oh, really? <laughs> but then there were always two pieces missing, and none of us wanted to give the last two pieces because we wanted to be the last one. <laughs> Look at that. There I did. I Ooh. remember you saying that. Look at that. that. Perfect. Yeah, Nailed it. That was nice. <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun now to, to make something out of these pieces? You guys really, you know how like people work on puzzles for yeah. an extended period? You can do something like that. Out oh, here. sure. You know, Good. for weeks on end, we can start adding pieces. Oh. In. I, have a, I have a dear friend from high school in Texas, her and her husband, do puzzles mm -hmm. all the time, and it's like a history of their relationship oh. from dating town. Oh. And they have everyone they've done glued, matted, and framed, and put in a special room in their house. There's a lot of puzzles oh, in there. Wow, that's so wow, cool. that's but, cool. Oh my gosh, it's like their memories, though. Yeah, that's cool. So when you put a puzzle together, are you the kind that wants to shellac it and leave it and hang it on the wall, or do you just tear it apart again for someone else to do? I've not ever hung one. I don't think. I know people that have. Do you no, like puzzles? shellac? Yeah, my friend does that. I have never taken the time for. Puzzles. I'm more of an outdoor girl. <laughs> do you like puzzles? Love puzzles. I actually um, do like them. I don't think I'm very good at them. Not like either. I, um, I feel like I would want to hang it though. There was a pretty Thomas Kincaid. Oh, oh. One, and I wanted nice, to DJ. do that. And, Those, and, and Thomas it. Kincaid. I love his it's light. Just beautiful. Isn't it? Isn't oh, it's it? gorgeous. His, <laughs> his art's wonderful. Oh, oh, yes, lovely. definitely. All right, Natalie. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. I know. Thank you, Shorty. Matt. I told you I would tell them. Thank you. Thank you, so Shorty. Much. That's <laughs> awesome. All right, guys. I have some. Uh, oh. I have a little word game. I'm glad you're here, Nat. Maybe oh. you can help out. We need you. I'm terrible at um, this game. So <laughs> what game is this again? Game game these are all. Yeah, these are all uh, uh, you could. You've got four choices. So uh, oh, multiple, multiple choices. Choice. Is, uh, okay. All right. And TJ, you may know this first one. What is another word for shrimp shell? Oh gosh. Okay. Here we go. Carapace, carousel, carbuncle, or carmine. Oh. You know, I have can we idea. talk this out? Yeah. Yes. Oh, no. okay. yes, yes. What's your idea, I, Matt? <laughs> I always see restaurants like Carmine by the Sea. <gasps> oh, oh, good call. I think by I've the seen sea. those. I have seen Maybe those before. That's that was my gut feeling, too. But I am from a landlocked state, clearly. So I Let's no go with that, though. Well, I, think I don't know, guys. Don't it doesn't take really my matter. word for it. Okay, we're going with that. That was my guess. Carmine Billy. Okay. I don't know what Carmine is. Uh, carapace is the, is <laughs> um, the word. It, okay. it means a hard shell. It's okay, Natalie. All What's right. Okay. Carmine means. I don't know. What's Carmine by the sea? I don't know what that is. So we'll I'm have to look it up. Or have you guys Good seen for I, No, I have heard of Carmines. I mean, I, I feel like I've seen them multiple times yeah. in multiple places. I feel like that wouldn't make sense, though. Yeah. Okay. Someone's Jake name. thinks it's someone's Carmine. name. All right. An Italian name, I think. I think <laughs> you, you uh, guys might know this one. Okay. Uh, who studies heliacal matters? Geologists, <laughs> B, geographers, uh, C, astronomers, 
or D, biologist? <laughs> Can you please repeat the question? Heliacol. Is Heli the, who would study that? Heliacol. That, yeah, would that be a Heliacol. geologist, a geographer, an astronomer, or a biologist? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Adam, what do you say? My you would be correct, Adam. Adam got Helio. astronomer. That was my, because I was thinking Helio. That's, I was thinking the room. Oh, yes. He said astronomer. astronomer Adam said is astronomer. For, is C, yes. Good job, Adam. Good All job, right. Adam. All right. I'm so. taking a seat on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what TV program might focus on Notion 8 subjects? Here they are. One, the Super Bowl. Why are these so hard? Uh, yeah, they are hard. Uh, two, Ghost Hunters. Three, local evening news, or four, house hunters. The, What's word, the word is notionate. Notion. Notionate subjects. What TV program might focus on notionate subjects? Is it the Super Bowl, What's ghost that? hunters, yeah. local evening news, yeah. or house hunters? It's be house hunters or ghost hunters, that's what I think. Can I ask you who uses these words? <laughs> I like, I like this. Kelly, Kelly Smith. I want to be like the script spelling me. Can you please use it in a <laughs> sentence? Can you spell it for me, please? Like Do you have a please sentence? Spell. I, I don't have it in a sentence, <laughs> but, but I will tell you uh, what it means. Uh, but do you have a guess first? You go for it. I was going to think either house or ghost. It's what do you guys probably think? probably news. It's probably news. You think it's low? Oh, that would be news. funny, though. Oh, would, I have, have a notion no or idea. something? Yeah. I don't know. Do you want to say take a guess and go ghost hunters? Okay. That is correct. Oh! Jake and I talked about this, and, and I do have a problem. Well, I mean, this is based on, I think, a belief or something. It's an exaggerated imagination. Notionate is it's a theory oh. or a non-existing reality. Ah. But then again, I do believe in ghosts because I've got a picture of one. So is that well, do a... Do you guys remember that little smoky? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was a turnover. A cherry <laughs> turnover, <laughs> Natalie. So, I thought it was a pig in a blanket. It was not a pig in a blanket. No, no, it wasn't. It was a turnover. <laughs> I'm starting new hashtag. Hashtag. Remember the little smoky? Remember the little... <laughs> that makes me so happy. It was scary. We gotta bring that back though. You guys gotta get Can that. Can we find video that clip again today? It, it, it got posted well, online. Let's wait till Halloween. Find it. Halloween. Halloween. Oh, okay. Hey okay, guys, I have one more. I know one you're more. very excited about okay. it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, so dactylonomy. What is a person practicing dactylonomy? Is it crafting or cursing? <laughs> That's what it said. Or carving. Well, when I'm crafting, I curse. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, or counting. I'm crafting, going further, cursing, I do carving, or counting. And the word one more time? Dactylotomy. Could you give me, is it D-A-C-T? Dact? It's D-A-C-T-Y-L-O-N. Can you break it down word-wise? It changes nothing for me. Uh, <laughs> I think you're going to break it down into like a Break it down now. Break it down Dact. now. Um, a redaction. Dact. Redaction. Ooh, redaction. Oh, what are our okay. choices? Yeah, what are the choices one more time? Crafting, cursing, carving, or counting. Redact. I feel like I was thinking it's counting. Redact. Is that? I don't know. Maybe. I was going to say cursing because you want to redact your curse word after you say it. And you're like, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> See? Well, in honor of um, Shorty, I'm going to say carving. Okay, let's go to Natalie. Okay. Well, no, no, no. Let's do all three of them. Oh, all three then. Okay. It's probably TJ is correct. Oh, what counting. 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 How did you know that? I thought you redact. I feel like I was. Uh, I, maybe it, you I'm, redact numbers. Maybe I don't know. I was thinking. However, you got there, TJ. That's the right <laughs> answer. Well, good. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. I was good like, job. Isn't that when you kind of think? And I was. I don't know. That's maybe a bad reasoning, but I, but. I have ESPN, and I can see the. You future. have ESPN. <laughs> so I understand. ESPN, I, yeah. I have ESPN uh -huh. too. I have ESPN Plus, mm. and I oh, have. Oh, uh, that's the. Oh, great, that. Uh, you, you can see even really far. <laughs> You can see like <laughs> Jetsons time period. And listen, we thought that was so strange. There, there's robots now bringing food to your table yeah. and that kind of Speaking thing. Speaking of, by the way, yeah. did you know that the Jetsons family, the Jetsons, the cartoon, oh. they have a hi like a history of them. And guess what? George Jetson, on his biography from like when they created it in the 60s, the Wikipedia. was born July 31st, 2022. He's a baby. Are you serious? And we just passed it yeah, a couple days ago. They go, by the way, guys, somebody's getting ready to give birth to George Jetson. Oh, my god. We're goodness. in the future now, isn't it? We crazy? are in the future. We are in the Do future. you remember the movie, like the, the Jetsons meet the Flintstones? Yes. I loved that oh. movie as a kid. Yeah, it was a fun. That was that really was fun. That was fun. Yeah. We need more of that. We do. We need more really of that. Do. Really. Did you see the uh, 
the cartoon that said actually the Jetsons and the Flintstones were living in the same time period, and the Jetsons were the first class people living in the sky, but the Flintstones were the lower class people living on the ground, and they did this what? whole like existential uh, reasoning on how they were actually at the same time. What did oh, you I watch? Didn't, it I was didn't so didn't deep. Hear that. It was so, it blew my mind. Oh, that's crazy. I can't. Because it was very. It sounds bad, but kind of like. I don't say barbaric, yes. but and then up but, here, yes. up, the upper it was like a yeah. dystopian society, future dystopian yeah. where yeah. the rich people were living yeah. in the sky, and then yeah. the, that'd be a great movie. <laughs> Just saying. All right, don't go anywhere. More fun. It was Fox AM right after this. My brain hurts. My brain also. I know you're gonna use those words. Yeah. Every day. Yes, I am. Dactylotomy. <laughs>